Barbara with Travel Tips and Info and Soul Shell Sea Glass. And today I'm going to tell you about the kind of sea glass you can find on Sea and Beach. I did a different video on where to find that glass. First of all, you want to make sure that the beach has these kinds of stones and pebbles on them. If it doesn't and it's sandy, chances are you're not going to find much glass. And it does change from year to year, it even changes from week to week. Of course, the best times are right after a storm. So the storm brings in the glass that's been sitting on the, the sea floor, along with the rocks and the pebbles. So that's also a good way to tell when to go and find this kind of glass. Most of the sea glass pictures I have in this video are all of the glass the way I found it. So I didn't stage anything except when they're perched up on top of a rock and I wanted it to be pretty. But things like this are just the way I found them. And I always have my phone uh, camera and video with me and quite often I'm filming and just happen to find a piece while I'm filming like this one. I was so fortunate and I don't think I would have seen this blue piece had the sun not been so low and the blue light was shining right on the rock next to it and it was pretty easy to spot. And I actually found another one almost exactly like this about an hour later, so something was going on there. This one we found literally sitting on the sand like that. Seam is famous for their multis and these are a few of the ones that we found on our trip in the fall of 2019. I always recommend that you carry a flashlight or a cell phone with a flashlight on it because when you find pieces that may look like a rock they could end up being like that blue one. I have a large collection of black glass mostly found on Seam Beach but it's because you can tell the difference in the finish you can see this pile here. They could be rocks, but when you see them next to the pebbles, you'll notice a slightly different finish. And when you hold them over the light on your phone or a LED flashlight, you can see there's some absolutely gorgeous colors. This one on the right is one of my favorites, and it's one that it's in my private collection because it has this little triangle inside once I held the flashlight up to it. It was really stunning. You can also find different kinds of marbles and other large pieces in different shapes and sizes, beautiful colors. Here's some of the jewelry that I made with it. Also tiny pieces you can make into rainbows and bubbles and everything in between. I hope this video gave you a better understanding of what kind of sea glass you can expect to find on CM Beach. Keep in mind that the beach is constantly changing and planning travel around finding sea glass there can be risky. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. You can find other travel and sea glass related videos on my website, traveltipsandinfo.com or on my sea glass site, soulshells.com. Both links will be in the description. Thanks and bon voyage.